Now this is a uh, sine or a cosine curve and want, we want to write the equation of this curve. Okay, so what are the two points that we see? We can see two points, this is the minimum and this is the maximum. Okay, so for minimum maximum we can write many facts. So you can say this is the minimum, the minimum is 11 and maximum is 21. So let's write that. So maximum is 21 and minimum is 11. From minimum and maximum, if you know the minimum and maximum, you can find the baseline, which is the average of minimum and maximum. So let's do this. So this is 21 plus 11 divided by 2. So this is how much? This is 32 divided by 2, which is 16. Okay, from baseline and maximum, or baseline and minimum, you can find the uh, amplitude. So amplitude is maximum minus baseline. Okay, so you can let me write the formula. So this is maximum. The distance between the maximum and baseline is called amplitude, or the distance between the baseline and the minimum is amplitude. So even without writing this formula, you can say the distance between baseline and maximum is phi or the distance between baseline and minimum is also phi, so the amplitude is phi. Now to find the period, uh, you have see you've got half the cycle here. You've got half the cycle. So for the distance from the minimum to the maximum is half the cycle. So this distance, say so this, how much is this distance? So this distance is 13.25. Okay, and from there you go this distance which is 9.925. So 13.25 plus 9 point, 13 plus 9 is 22, and 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.5. So this is 22.5. 22.5 times 2. 22.5 is times 2, which is 45. So your period is 45. So if you have this, this much information, it's almost, you can write the equation. Now, if you look at this, this, if you consider this as the starting point, so let's say this is your starting point. Your starting point is, you're starting at uh, minus 13.25. So let's, that's, so that's the x coordinate of the starting point. Okay, so this is 13.25. So, yeah, this is if you move this 13.25 to the right, this whole thing, if, you, if it moves to the right, this becomes a basic sine curve. So you can say this is, this has, this is a translated sine curve, 13.25 to the left. Okay, so it has gone. You can say your sine, basic sine curve, basic sine curve, I'm talking about the basic sine curve, has shifted. 13.25 uh, to the left. So I'll show this is left. How much? 13.25. So we want to use this to write the equation. So I remember the equation like this. The equation of any sine or cosine curve is y is equal to, so this is your y and your, this is your x-axis. Okay, so y is equal to amplitude. So let me write the formula like this. Amplitude times sine or cosine, that's something, it'll, it'll depend on where you start, sine or cosine times 360 or 2 pi, this is a general formula, 360 or 2 pi divided by the period, bracket, x or whichever is the unknown, plus or minus your phase shift PS, phase shift or translation, close the bracket, plus the baseline. Okay, so let's use this formula to write the equation. So we are starting at this point, uh, minus 13.25, and if you shift it to the right, it's going to be the basic sine curve. So can the equation will be y is equal to, how much is the amplitude? Phi sine. 
because it's a sine curve, if it shifts to the right, it becomes a basic sine curve. Okay, so uh, this is the minimums. This is the minimum, sorry. If it starts from the minimum, this is this is starting from the minimum, so this becomes a negative cost cost graph. Okay, so this is a from the minimum it goes up. So let me I'm getting confused here. So so this is your sine and cosine. So this is y and x axis. So if your graph is like this, it's your it's a uh, ne uh, it's a negative cosine graph. So I'll say minus amplitude is how much? Amplitude is phi cos bracket. I'll say 360 divided by 45 times x. It has if it starts for if it has moved to the left, it has moved. It, this has to move to the right. Okay, or this has moved to the left. Okay, so this is my plus plus 13.25. 13.25. You have to do, use two brackets plus the baseline. How much is the baseline? Baseline is 16. So let's simplify this a little. So y is equal to minus phi cos. 360 divided by 40, 45 would be uh, 5, isn't it? Yeah, 360 times 2 is 90. Okay, so let me do it. It's better to confirm 360 divided by 45. My brain should be, is not working properly. So it's 8, sorry. It's good to check. So this is 8 times x plus 13.25. Hopefully, my answer will be right. So let's check this. So, menu graph. Okay, so let me delete this. So, what was the function? It is minus phi cos bracket 8 bracket x plus 13.25. Oops, 0.25, delete, bracket, bracket, plus 16. Okay, now what should be my scale? Scale, I won't say, this is minus 13.25, I'll go from minus 15 to plus 15, okay? So, shift, oops, now I don't want this, delete, execute, shift, F3, I'll go from minus 20 to 20 is fine, and 0 to 30. And then try to draw it. Here is a curve. This is sorry, GSOL minimum, minus 13.511, and GSOL maximum. Okay, now if you write from this point, it's a positive cost graph. Okay, and from this minimum, if you start from the minimum, it's a negative cost graph. And from the maximum, it's a positive cost graph.